Hello, Potato, and welcome to Weekend Magic for November the 6th. Another week down, another week close to the end. Now, you may notice we're already in the close-up view. It's because we're looking at two small things today. We've got two big things as well. And um, the small things, we'll get to in a second. The big things are things that would have been very nice to have had last week when I was trying to look for stuff for Halloween. And instead, what do we look at? Just two things I had picked out and two things my wife had picked out. And then on Saturday afternoon or evening or whenever the post was delivered, we got more Halloween stuff. So yeah, today is uh, these two small things coming up and some Halloween leftovers. But let's start out with the small things. And those are the brand new Dumbo Key to Imagination Key from Shop Disney. 80 years of Dumbo. You know, we hadn't watched that movie like in probably decades, probably not since I was a child. We watched it again, I think earlier this year, maybe last year, I think this year. And one, it's a lot shorter than I thought it was. Two, it's very obvious when you get to the, the pink elephant scene that that was both an attempt to pad the film out a little bit longer and also just the animators showing off what they could do. It's way too long. It's weird. It doesn't really fit in the movie all that well. But it is impressive. It's impressive to look at. But yeah, weird movie. Um, and of course, oh, and, and three. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the crows... Yeah, that is not a thing that aged well. I, I can definitely see why people find them a little off-putting, which is unfortunate, because they do honestly have, like, the best song in the whole film. But yeah, definitely, definitely objectionable. Anyway, so they're not on the key, and that's no surprise. What is surprisingly not on the key is uh, the mouse. What's his name, Pete? Pete, what is the mouse's name? He's not here, is he? What is the mouse's name? I have to look that up. Let's let's hold a second. Timothy. There we go. I looked it up. It's Timothy. Timothy Mouse. Yeah, Timothy's not on here. That's a little surprising. Also, no feather. There's a, there's a lot of opportunities they had with this item to uh, make it look more like the movie. And uh, they missed all of them, didn't they? But the, the image of Dumbo himself is pretty cool. And it says Dumbo on the front, just in case, you know, you didn't know what this key was for, like if you took it out of the box or something. And we have the uh, teeth are, of course, the castle in yellow and white, uh, kind of reminiscent of a circus tent. And then we have the, the blue and white dots here, which I don't know those, those are meant to be reminiscent of at all. Anything on the back? These are what, $12.99 now, I think? Not a toy. And yeah, just another key in a year with lots and lots of keys and blind box keys and special edition keys and I guess less special edition keys. I don't know. It seems like all these special edition ones are just like still on the site from I think the Star Wars key may still be up there from May 4th. They just, uh, they make so many of them now. Yet they make so few of the blind box ones. And of course, you can't do a key to imagination key anymore. Well, pretty much you can't. You, you can sometimes, but not often, without doing a matching pin. Yep, here is our Dumbo pin. Uh, actually, on this one, honestly, I, I really like the way the gold looks on the uh, on the teeth there. I don't know if I can get that without it glaring off the light or being blurry. But I think, you know, the yellow and white looks nice and all, but that gold, that gold really looks... It's nice, it's shiny. I think it looks really, really good. Otherwise, as is the generally the case, it's pretty much an exact replica of the key. The dots per scale are a little large. It might have been hard to make them any smaller on such a small object to begin with. I think the stripes are kind of the same issue. The stripes are a little bit to scale a little wider than they are on here. But still, very nice. Also special edition. Uh, this one was $12.99, so I guess these were probably $14.99 then, weren't they? Because I know they weren't the same price. Of course, pin trading, $20.21. I, I, I'm honest, be honest with you here. I kind of hope they lay off the keys a little bit next year. I did skip, you know, the uh, Haunted... Not Haunted Mansion, they didn't do Haunted Mansion. I had a bought Haunted Mansion. I didn't do the Nightmare Before Christmas keys. Um, I never did finish the Star Wars keys. 
I actually, I had kind of planned on swearing off of the blind box keys in particular, but well, there's these. Yep, the mystery key, the holiday mystery key shows four on the box. There's apparently actually five in the set. And if you want to know what's in here, you'll have to come back tomorrow because that's going to be tomorrow's video, sort of a key stravaganza. I've got some key stuff I shot months ago and never released. I've got new keys to open. We're going to have ourselves a little key stravaganza tomorrow. One thing I just noticed before I started recording here, no refunds, exchanges or returns. That's magical, isn't it? I mean, I guess I, I get it. Don't 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 get me wrong. I understand it. But wow, that's just that's what you put on your box. I guess with uh, with it not being sold in stores, it's not off putting until you actually have already received it, at which point you can't return it. So uh, stinks to be you. But yeah. So if you want to know what's in these, got six of them. We're going to open them in tomorrow's video. So come on back then if that's what you want to find out about. Now to the big stuff. Now, as I've already said, the big items are both things that would have been nice to have had last week. They're both little Halloween leftovers. Let's call them Ghosts of Halloween Past, that being exactly one week ago today, or at least when the video would have been. Um, and they both arrived, I think, actually, like, well, I think one arrived on Saturday, one arrived a couple days later um, after Halloween, maybe on Halloween. I don't remember. But it was, look at the thing that arrived on Saturday after I had uploaded our video already for the week. And that is something that was actually, I guess, according to my wife, part of my birthday present. It's from Entertainment Earth, and it is in this wonderful little bubble envelope, which is nice because I, I think it gets stuffed up very nicely. And that is this, a Haunted Mansion cutting board. I mean, I'm going to call it actually a serving board because I, I cannot imagine what kind of a moron you'd have to be to cut anything on this. Uh, it's very beautiful. It's from Entertainment Earth. They actually were like three different ones. I think it was like a Madame Leota one. And I think there's one that was like the actual, the, uh, the, the plaque, you know, the ones outside the, outside the ride. But we went with the Hitchhiking Ghost. Yep. Entertainment Earth exclusive. For some reason it seems to have a, an alarm code underneath the sticker. I guess maybe they have a store somewhere. I don't know. But it is an Akasha cutting board built to last. Reversible, I guess you could use a side to actually cut on if you for some reason wanted to. Reversible Akasha board, 14 by nine by 0.8. Smooth surface on one side, recessed juice groove on the other side of the board. Surface wash only with a damp cloth. God, no, I'm not going to wash it at all because I'm, I'm never going to put food on it. But it's very nice so you can get close enough that you can like see the detail. But at you know, I'm assuming like lasered or something. We have everybody's favorite Hitchhiking Ghosts, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. Says Disney, The Haunted Mansion, and kind of some graves in the background. Friends, there wasn't a Hatbox Ghost one. At least I don't recall there being a Hatbox Ghost one because that probably would have been where I would have gone otherwise. But yeah, we got the groove here to catch your juices if you're cutting out of it. For the love of all, why would you cut anything on this? Also, I think, I mean, you're going to get food in these little grooves here. I mean, how you can you get that out? You're going to mar it up. Why would you ever cut on this? I suppose it's nice to know you could, but why would you ever? It's very nice. I don't remember how much. I think it's like 50 bucks. It's, it's way too much, but it is very nice. It's a very unique piece. Um, maybe it'll go on to like the dining room table or something if we dress that up for Halloween, but it's definitely not going to ever have food on it because that's just foolish. It's very cartoonish renditions of them, particularly of uh, Phineas there, I think. He's got the big cartoony eyes. It is clearly inspired by that old artwork, the, uh, the old poster, the one that's um, actually here. I have a version of it here. This is very reminiscent of this. Obviously much more detailed. They're very kind of rough in this. They're very detailed in that, but also very cartoonish, which is not a bad thing. And that's my item. And now my wife has an item as well that she'd ordered for herself that didn't come in in a timely fashion either. And that is this. Um, it does not, oh, there we go. I say, is there a place to open it without ripping? But there is, it's over here. It is a Halloween wreath, a mini wreath 
Not mini as in small, mini as in mouse. And so, yeah, it's all made up. Well, I guess maybe they're Mickeys, right? Well, no, okay, no, so mini and Mickey, because yeah, the ones with the, the leaves that look like bows are minis, and the leaves that don't look like bows are probably Mickeys. And this was $49.99. The Happy Halloween Wreath. You can hang it like so. I probably hang it on something because it doesn't really hang straight. You want to hang that on like, your door or a hook or a wreath holder or something. It's all done in like this kind of felt covered foam with a little shiny bow, a bat, a spider. Oh, the spider dangles. Hold on. Let's, we got to do that again then. I didn't realize that. There we come on. Hang right. There we go. Check that action out. Hang that up on your door. Just screams Halloween, doesn't it? Lovely. Uh, it's not super heavy, so it's not gonna not gonna need a lot to hold it up. Get like one of those command strips. Basically, just have this kind of a kind of felty ring back here, and you glue the other stuff to it. It's fairly simple and straightforward. And there, I believe, uh, is a Christmas version too that my wife has also also ordered already. And I'm sure we'll be looking at that when it comes in. But yeah, that's it. We've got a couple of Halloween leftovers. Can I do this so they're both in the image at the same time and not covering each other? Maybe not. I really do need a better tablecloth. Yeah, this doesn't want to stand up because the uh, the bottom here, that sticks out farther than the ring. There's like nothing to hold it up with. Can we lean it against the shelf? There we go. That works. And then we have our keys and our key pin. And there's actually there's a bunch of other keys that were just released too. Aside, of course, from the Holiday Mickey and Pals keys, there is a Holiday Mandalorian key set. I believe it was a two, a two key set with a Mando key and a Grogu key. Kind of like the two set they released, I think, back on like Star Wars Day. And they also released this week the Monsters, Inc. anniversary key. Unfortunately, neither of them showed up in time for this recording. So I'll we'll look at them next week with maybe some more Halloween leftovers, maybe some ornaments. I don't know yet. We'll see what arrives. And that brings us to what got me through this week. And that's real short this week because the answer is nothing. I got nothing this week. Nothing has inspired me to, to bring to you and suggest to you to read or watch or play or whatever. So with that, we'll wrap this video up. I hope you found it all interesting and entertaining. I hope if you're interested in seeing what's in these lovely little boxes here, you'll come on back to tomorrow's video for our key extravaganza where we open up these and uh, what, two other types of keys and a type of key pin. And uh, if you did like the video at all, give it a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I thank you for watching. See you hopefully tomorrow for that key video. Otherwise, in the next video you watch, have a good weekend.